hi everyone welcome back to my channel i've really missed you guys i hope you've missed me as much as i've missed you um so in today's video i would like to do a grocery haul you can already tell by the stuff that's behind me so the reason i'm doing this video and uh, it's because i'm just super amazed and shocked at how much everything has gone up but i have some good news there's a few things that haven't gone up as much um so if you're ready we'll get right into the video however before we start i would like to um for those who haven't subscribed please consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you like guys do you know how much milk costs right now a packet that was a packet of milk that was going for 45 shillings 47 shillings 50 shillings is now going for 65 shillings and above i used to buy milk from a farmer oh i still do sorry not just used to but i, I used to buy it a liter for 60 shillings now i'm buying a liter for 70 shillings and all this has happened within the last two months. Is it because it's an election year? I don't know. But these kind of things keep happening every single election time. Something happens. There's scarcity of something. Prices shoot up. What is happening, my fellow Kenyans? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell if you like such kind, uh, such kind of content. So let's go. Right in. But before that, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, there's lots of content in this channel. Uh, please check out my other videos. If you'd like to know uh, where I did my artificial dreadlocks, I've got a video for that. Um, I've, I've got a, a few hauls, so you can check that out. But um, agenda of the day. So this is my grocery shopping for the month of may 2022 i tell you what i'm still surprised at what i was able to get uh for 15,000 kenya shillings which is this and compared to what i have been getting before I cannot compare. I mean, um, 15,000 Kenya shillings would get me so much more. If you can, if, as you can see, uh, when it comes to flour, I only have maize flour. I don't have... Um, I'm so sorry for the noise, guys. There's a, a, some construction going on somewhere around here. So pardon me, uh, but I hope you can still hear me. But so sorry for the sharp noises that are coming on. So in today's video, as I said, we are going to do a grocery haul. Uh, this is my grocery shopping for the month of May 2022. And I'm just really surprised how much everything, the price of almost everything has gone up. But good news, there are quite a few things that uh, haven't been affected by the price. I, I managed, I still managed to get a couple of, uh, a few offers here and there. But uh, as you all know, I'm always hunting for bargains. But this time round, guys, these bargains were a mountain to find. Um, so I'm just going, the structure is we're going to start with the few things that, I, that uh, really came out for me, um, which are the things that have really skyrocketed and things that uh, I could still manage to find some offers on. Quite sincerely, this time round, I'm not even looking at brands as long as it's something uh, something is of quality that I can use at home. I was just picking it. I was looking at the price, guys. I don't know about you, but today's economy with everything going up, fuel, uh, milk, everything, it's just so hard. I buy my milk uh, from a farmer who has a shop somewhere. I used to buy one liter for 60 shillings. Now that same one liter is going for 70 shillings and I can even barely find it. If you, to, in, today, it, in today's video you can see I have milk from the supermarket. This is because I've been trying to buy milk for the last one week from the person I buy from and I can't find milk. I think everyone is just, it, it's just so hard to buy as much milk as you used 
too before especially if you have kids and people have gone back to buying from ATMs and from farmers so I most of the time if I'm buying milk after I'm coming from work I find that it's finished my actually my milk bottle has been there for almost a week I just can't find milk so this is the situation this packet of milk uh, don't mind the brand but a packet of fresh milk was going from between 45 shillings to 50 shillings now it's going from 65 shillings and above and this has happened within the last two months how crazy is that so um looking at my shopping it's not like a full shopping so i don't have wheat flour here pancake flour i don't have um rice you can see i don't have rice and those are some of i don't have cooking oil and those are some of the things that have really gone up so the the reason being i had bought a few extras my usual shopping oh my gosh that noise is too much so sorry for that but it will be gone in a few seconds my apologies for that okay so for this month i've not done my normal full monthly shopping one because of the way i usually shop if i get offers i kind of like stock up on them when i can uh, so i've i have wheat flour i have some rice i have oil uh, which is uh, because of I've, i had bought some extras the last time but guys, this shopping cost me 15,000 shillings. And before, 15,000 shillings could get you so much more. So with 15,000 shillings, I've managed to get a few things, but not as much as I would usually have. If you look at uh, my shopping table, uh, my grocery, I, I don't have wheat flour, I don't have pancake flour, because I, have, I already have those but i only have three packets of um, maize meal and this one each one is going for 137 shillings <laughs> things have really gone up um i managed to get a few offers here and there though uh if i start with food there's a, a different brand of yogurt i buy um it's usually been going for 199 shillings i found it at 205 but I know this is a really good brand and I've, um, I've had it before. It has real fruit inside and this was going for 188 shillings. So I was really happy with getting a liter of these instead of my usual yogurt, which had gone up by six shillings each. I know that doesn't may not sound as much, but when you accumulate everything, trust me, um, the overall amount is just high. So as I said, I got some offers. These are biscuits, digestive oat biscuits, which you buy one, you get one free. This was a good deal. Uh, this time, I like baking cakes once in a while for my family. This is a cake mix, um, and I really wanted to try this orange flavor. I like baking for my family once in a while. I usually do fruit cakes, so this will be a good, um, a nice change, and I just want to see how the cake mix does. Then my babies love this choco pillow. I love it too. It's so yummy. It has real chocolate inside, and it's crispy, and inside it's so soft. It's so good with milk. It's really good alone. I wish I could uh, buy more of these for my boys but uh, sometimes they just take this as a snack and as a supplement to their uh, one of their usual uh, breakfast cereal which is Witabix. so i don't think these um, the price has changed much or this uh, these are nice uh, cute shaped uh, spaceship pasta which are nice for kids. So sometimes, and I have to, I got the space ship and, uh, and number ship. So it's really interesting for kids and they like picking on the ships and they are eating and it's engaging. They tell you this is like a spaceship or I got my um, a number two or something or a letter or something. So these are nice uh, pasta options for kids than just the regular ones. And uh, just got 
one pack of um, fusilli pasta. I have uh, spaghetti. I have spaghetti, so I didn't need to buy much of those. So I had run out of a lot of spices. I tried a new brand here. It's called uh, Pran. I just want to see how um, their spices are. The packaging is actually not that bad. So got myself a few spices, paprika, fish masala, uh, black pepper. I use this a lot, actually for every meal. Some tea masala and ginger. I use these spices for tea mostly. And uh, some onion powder. Uh, for herbs, I stocked up on rosemary and uh, mixed herb. I usually stock up on these orega and oregano, but I still have oregano. Uh, this Natty's brand, I don't know if you can remember, there was, I think there used to be, there was a kind of a scandal for this brand. So it really brought, I, I don't know if it's Natty's or Nutella. Okay, but this was, this was much more cheaper than, my, than, than the Blue Band brand, which I usually buy mostly because it's almost always on offer so these i got for like um less than 300 bob and and then blue band one that i was getting two for 400 is now one for 329 so that was a that was a nice deal this is a deal on jam uh so i got uh, blackberry jam and strawberry jam this is a special offer you buy one you get one free so this is uh 430 grams and then i get 230 grams free and this was going for 250 bob so that was good then i think this is uh leons have brought a new brand of salad dressings a thousand island and all that and they were going for each for 214 bob so i decided to try these uh, greek vinaigrette and italian so this was nice. Um, I bought juice for those uh, hot days when you need some juice. It's hard to keep up with the natural juice. And just wondering if the natural juices we get here are really that natural. Then this time round is instead of getting instant, normal instant coffee, I decided to, to get this ground Arabica uh, coffee blend. Um, I hope my hubby will like it because he's the one who really loves his coffee in the morning. Uh, got curry powder in sachets, which obviously was much cheaper than in a can. Uh, tomato paste. If you've been watching my videos, you'll notice that I've been buying uh, a certain brand of tomato paste that has been like you buy one and get one free. So that offer is gone. Sorry, guys, but I'm back to Kenilon. <laughs> Yeah, so here's the milk. I told you guys milk has gone up. Each of these packets was 65 uh, shillings. This is unsalted butter, which hasn't changed much. Uh, this was an offer on cheese. Buy one, get one free. Each has eight triangles, so eight portions, right? So these are 16 for the price of one pack. My cowboy for chapati is finished so i had to restock on this the prices have gone up um i'm not sure how much i bought this but definitely the prices on all kinds of cooking oil has gone has gone up uh so i got uh, when i shop at Kafo, i like getting my family some treats so i got these these were like six slices for 179 of red velvet and they usually do it so nicely it's nice and it's moist um so it's nice it's a nice dessert uh when you go to the cold section you'll also get a variety of uh ham polony um so i got a couple of these we've already consumed the other one so got some of these for making sandwiches for my family in the morning i also got an offer on this beef a pack of beef sausages this is going for 677 shillings i think the usual price is around 714 so this was a good buy this flour uh each was going for 137 shillings as i said earlier i got an offer on reiko i you buy 500 grams and you get 200 grams free 
Uh, these are two packs. No, actually it's one pack of 200 grams. So it's good because uh, once this goes down a bit, I can top up with this. And this will take me a lot longer than I would. And plus I don't use Reiko that much. So I know this, I'll have this for quite some time. Uh, I had some drinking chocolate left, but because I, I, I saw this offer and it's not like the price for the drinking chocolate had changed much, I thought I would stock up on it. And plus it came with this big pack of Bonvita for free. This would usually go for 300 and something shillings. So it was really a plus when it came with this for four, about 465 bob. So that was a plus. This is cling film. This time round, I got the small pack, which runs out so fast. And it's simply because I couldn't afford the big one. I used to buy the big pack um, for 600 and something shillings. And now that same pack is going for over 1,000 shillings. How crazy is that difference? That, that's so much, you guys. That is so much. That's something I really have to plan for. So I just got this as I plan to buy that bigger pack. But I was so disappointed to see that. I mean, from 600 to over 1,000 shillings. I even saw one for 1,800. I just don't know what's going on, guys. I just hope things will get better. I got an offer on this uh, for 280 bob. It would usually go for three, three something. But I, I got these two of these for 280 and it's they were actually on offer then uh, usually like buying this single packed uh, steel wool i'm not sure if this if this the price has changed much for this or if it's changed at all i can't comment on that but this is what i usually get because i like picking like a single pack every time i'm removing one and i had run out so this bread this is the 600 grams one i think it used to go for 65 shillings I'm not very sure. But guess what? This is now going for 80 bob. I bought it at 79 at Carrefour. But to be honest, most of the places it's going for 80 bob. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Bread, bread, milk, cooking oil, rice, flour. What's going on? Those are the things we use on a daily basis. Anyway, this is the country we are living in. I don't know if everyone everywhere else in the world is experiencing what we are experiencing but this is the situation right now guys so moving on to the toiletries i have so few yeah i have so few not uh what i would usually get so let's run through it these Dettol soaps um got for my boys it was going for 149 from 200 shillings so i just got it because it was on offer uh, got these OxyClean, OxyActive from Astonish. Um, it's a fabric stain remover. And I saw from uh, Devota Regina's channel, she really recommended it while doing her laundry. So I'm going to try and do this with my laundry and see if it really makes a difference. My baby's hair oil. The, the, the drain cleaner that I usually buy, that I really like, Hasn't been in stock for a while. I haven't seen it. So I decided to try this. And this actually wasn't so expensive. Um, and I don't know how long I'm going to use this. But I just decided to get this to try. Uh, honestly, I just bought this because the bottle looks nice. <laughs> this, uh, the prices really haven't changed much. Uh, furniture polish price hasn't changed much oh i have to talk about this product hurricane first of all i like the green one but it was out of stock um it's been coming with this offer of the topex colors bleach for quite a while now i think i've seen it going the last time i did my shopping now it's still um this it's coming with this offer and i actually when i tried this first i bought it when uh because of the offer but i actually really do like this product and i think it's a keeper i really like it um so this time i didn't buy my usual bathroom cleaner because i still have it left but i decided to try this ultimate limescale remover 
because uh, I'm dealing with lime scale a lot, uh, living in a salty or rather hard water place. So I think this will be a lifesaver. And all of the Astonish products I've tried before haven't disappointed. So I just decided to stock to try this one. Bar soap. I don't use it much, so one is just enough for me. Uh, sanitary towels, serviettes. This was on offer, so I don't know if it's something about the brand because I realized just now as I was uh, arranging these things to do the grocery haul that I bought the same brand of tissue and um, these serviettes. So, <laughs> serviettes that would usually go for 80 85 shillings actually they go for, uh, they used to go from uh, 70 70 shillings 75 80 85 are now all above 100 bob think about that serviettes all this pack this same pack all above 100 bob i got this because i looked at it and it looks like uh, it's a good quality uh, brand and this was actually on offer for 75 bob so that, that's just what used to be the regular price. But at this time, that 75 shillings was an offer. This brand of tissue was also on offer for 311. And it's the cheapest I could find that I thought was good quality. So there's this brand called Poshi. Um, it was going for 150 bob uh, about a couple of months back. I'm not very sure about the quality. I didn't like it so much, but uh, that that was going for 150 bob was going for 260 shillings and it was an offer from 300 and something shillings guys something that was going for 150 bob for 10 pieces something else that's surprising i don't know if you've watched my uh, uh my grocery haul uh, that I did last, I was talking about the Celine brand of tissue. And at that time, I had got it on offer for about uh, 3.15 shillings, if I'm not wrong. And uh, from 3... No, I think it was less than 300 bob from the usual 300 and something shillings. That same brand of tissue, Celine tissue, and I'll insert a picture here, was going for over 500 shillings. 300 to 500 what's not happening there were some tissue brands that was were going for 600 shillings and above a 10 pack or 12 pack of tissue 600 guys 600 are you as shocked and surprised as i am what's not happening okay so anyway that's just about it and that's the situation and we just have to learn how to uh, go around that this brand is not my usual brand of fabric softener, but I didn't get the usual brand that I like, which is um, so soft. Uh, and it's disappeared for a while, especially uh, the bigger package uh, packaging. So the, I wasn't getting the blue one, which is the one I like. So I decided to try these cuddles. It smells nice and I hope it will last me the month. Do not do that again. <laughs> Yeah, so this um, hand soap, it's also gone up, but I found this on offer for 179 shillings. And at that point, that was a deal, so I just got two. This is a uh, machine wash. I usually buy the blue or purple one, so this time I decided to buy the green one. And the price hasn't changed, still six. Has it? Was it 615 before? And now it's 699. I d I'm not sure, but this is still 699. Okay, and you guys, soap, uh, ma uh, I mean, machine wash, machine soap. Why is it so freaking expensive? Why? Why? Are we being punished for trying to, to live a better life by getting a machine to help us with our laundry? Why, guys? This should be much cheaper than that and Persil is one of the best brands when it comes to machine wash uh of late i've really not been sticking to my brands so i found this it's really cutely packaged and the colors they look really nice and this was uh quite affordable four of them were going for i think 180 bob these four so this is just extra bathing soap 
uh, toilet block, uh, no much, uh, not much change in price. Uh, this is hand wash. Quite honestly, I stocked up on this because I don't know when next I'll find such an offer. And it's because I haven't been finding such an offer of buy one, get one free. And this, uh, the hand soap that I'm still using now, I, I had actually bought on offer and I had also stocked up on it and it had finished. This was the only hand soap that had a buy one, get one free. I really hope it's good. I don't know if it's a new brand or something, but I really hope it's good. And tell you what, a couple of days ago, I was at the same supermarket and I looked for a similar offer and there was none. When I went back and I saw this, I knew it's a limited offer and I stocked up on it. So guys, I'm basically saying the lesson here is if you get something that it's really a good deal and it's something that you need and you use often, please stock up on it i'm telling you the truth if i found a really good offer on toilet paper i would stock up on it because i can't imagine myself buying a pack of 10 uh, pieces of toilet paper for 500 or 600 shillings <laughs> that's just unimaginable so that if you get a good deal just stock up guys especially if it's not perishable stock up so something else before i close uh, this video is I, I would like to mention that um, this I didn't buy at the same time as this same day but different Carrefour shops so what that made me realize is that different Carrefour supermarkets and Naivas and any other supermarkets really I used to think they run the same offer across all their outlets but that's actually not true. So these three geisha soaps, I, I bought these three and got a nice white laundry basket. It's not here, it's still uh, in the car, but it was actually a really, it was a nice deal. That laundry basket, I'm using it as, I'm actually using it as a storage basket in the car. And um, I hope I'll remember to take a picture and insert here. But uh, point is, the different shop run different offers. There are other things that I found in that shop that I didn't see in my regular shop. And, and I've shopped, I've gone to shop at the uh, Carrefour, at the Hub, and at Sarit before, and compared with, uh, I usually shop at the Hub, and the offers really are not, I don't know why, but I tend to find the Hub uh, usually having, a lot more offers or frequent offers or better offers than a lot of other Carrefour outlets. Bonus tip, ding, 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 ding. Pay me for that. <laughs> yeah, so guys, that was my grocery haul for the month of May 2022. We really hope that things will get better as we move ahead. Uh, I don't know if after the elections things will change. Let's just hope so. Um, I don't have sugar or rice or cooking oil here. I don't know how much my shopping would have costed if I had bought that. Yeah, so if you usually shop for 10,000 shillings, you'd need about 15,000 shillings to get you the same shopping that you would get for 10,000 shillings. This is crazy, but it's the life that you're living now. So share ideas on um, how you maximize on your budget when it comes to grocery shopping because these are costs that you cannot avoid okay so sh share your ideas i used to go to i used to shop in a wholesale shop before but i find it um, it makes more sense if you're buying if you're really buying in bulk like you can't go to a wholesale shop to buy a 5 kg pack of rice the difference between that wholesale shop and the supermarket isn't much and remember maybe you've driven or gone so far to go uh, to that wholesale shop that is giving you a better price. So you find maybe the price is different by like 10 shillings for a five pack of rice. So it would make more sense if you would buy the whole uh, sack of 25 kgs and that will last you maybe for like six months or four months, I don't know, depending on your family's needs. So wholesale shops for me make more sense when you're buying like in bulk, not five kilos or 10 kilos. And look at something like cooking oil. There isn't much difference in the wholesale shops for a 10 liter of uh, cooking oil or 20 liter uh, uh, bucket, no, um, gallon of whatever packaging of cooking oil from the supermarket. The difference is marginal. So 
I don't know. You guys share ideas. How do we maximize on the on, on our costs for grocery per month? Let's connect. Please feel free uh, to engage with me uh, in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed and you liked this video today, please subscribe, uh, um, hit the notification bell uh, so that you can be notified when I put out a video next time. Share this video if you like it and uh, I would really love your support. We are actually guys, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Please help me get to a thousand subscribers and thank you so much for the support so far. We are at around, we are almost 500. I think we are like five or four people shy of 500, but we are getting there. Share, subscribe. You don't know how much support you guys uh, give content creators when you watch and you subscribe and you share um, the content to other people to subscribe. We, it's, it's so much hard work, by the way, to create content, it's not easy. So appreciate it and share with your friends. And thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.